<laughs> uh, that's a nice first question, but uh, I feel like a resetted uh, mindset to this season. Uh, although I've uh, I've been on the top step of the podium in the in the last race, I feel I feel like uh, I don't need to feel any extra pressure. I'm coming to um, a place where I where I really wanted to be. And so I need to take uh, the challenge to know the people um, again, uh, to make myself at, uh, at home with the team and the team with me, understand um, how everything is working and uh, start building the results. But um, I, I think and I see myself uh, with the possibilities to, to start where I ended 2020. Well, my, my introduction to MotoGP through Tech3, I think, was, was quite nice because it was a very low-pressure uh, environment. Everyone was very friendly. So quite quickly, I, I felt at home with, uh, um, with the French team. Um, I'm expecting to come to a, to a world which is, uh, and a reality which is a little bit harder. I, I, I feel like I'm able to work more on details on the, on the factory team and to at least be more consistent. Uh, this is, I think, the tools uh, that the factory team uh, is going to give me. And of course, I'm, I'm having also uh, a different responsibility because we will test, uh, of course, more, more parts and it's, it's normal. And uh, we will kind of uh, lead the way together with the test team in terms of, of development of the bike. Well, it is a, um, a, a quite different version, the 19 and 2020 version, because uh, um, basically the, the, the way the bike handles and the feedback it gives to the rider is quite different. Um, I, I would say the, the 2019 version was still very hard to drive. Uh, you needed to force um, the bike to go in the corners many times, and it was very wild. Uh, it was completely... Um, a, a, a big shock when I when I tried the bike, and um, through through 2020 already through the testing, um, I saw in in this bike much more potential, and uh, the bike was much more natural. Uh, the feedback it gave was so so nice that um, you know I I could immediately see that this bike was uh, was on for for good results. Well, I think success for us would be to be world champion. Um, I, I, I look at it uh, as, a, as a reality. For sure, it's very ambitious because many things need to go together. But having the tools and having the, the right people, the, the right determination to, to put in the, the project, I think we are very capable of achieving uh, such a result. For sure, to be to be world champion, you, you need to have many details together happening at the same time. Uh, and for that, depending on, on how the season is going and what is happening, we can define success through the project and through the way. So during this process, uh, sometimes a fourth place would be, uh, will, will be a very good result. Sometimes second place, maybe it will not fulfill our expectations. But I think it's something you need to work through the process. And it's right now as a start base, I think quite hard to, to, to set um, a bar of, of uh, which result uh, we can consider as successful. But for sure, better than uh, 2020 is already a good start. Well, I have to say uh, that uh, breaking into the first corner uh, of the Portimão track, uh, it gives you butterflies on, on your stomach because you're coming at such a high speed and you need to break where uh, the track disappears underneath you. And uh, the feeling it gives in the stomach, it's, uh, it's quite special and different from uh, what I felt in any other track. 
Uh, I'm thinking about Mugello maybe at 330 uh, over the crest uh, before you break into the first corner. Has something similar, but um, it's something you get you get used to uh, through the laps, and the, the butterflies start to go away because you get used to the feeling. But it's uh, quite uh, two special places. I, I think there is no uh, uh, no fixed path to 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 get into MotoGP. You see um, riders who who have come to MotoGP with very different careers, depending on the timing and on the year, and of course opportunities. But I would say, from my perspective, to have done uh, the years of success in my career, all all of them with KTM, it's uh, it gives a, a sense of purpose and mission. Uh, beyond me or behind, beyond my, my, my role as a rider because I feel uh, really part of uh, also the, the DNA and the success of KTM and uh, it gives you a special feeling when you ride and when you represent the brand um, having done the past with them uh, many many years. It is very important to, to know you have the tools to, to achieve good results. Um, you just need to make sure you are at 120% uh, all the time. Uh, this is my, my main focus, uh, not only physically but also mentally, to be ready uh, for the challenges uh, ahead. But it is a, a, a quite relaxing um, uh, factor to, to know that the bike is capable of winning. But at the same time, you cannot take anything for granted and uh, sometimes when it comes to repeating it uh, it becomes harder so um, i don't see it as a static job uh, i think every year you need to bring up something more on yourself to to be able to to keep uh, a, a very good level in this championship Perfection. <laughs> no, I would say uh, to, to, to describe it, in, I, I feel I've integrated very well with the bike over these past two years. Uh, for sure, the 19th season, I would have liked to, uh, to have a bit more time on the bike uh, without injury and, of course, um, uh, to not miss the, 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 last, uh, the last races. Um, but overall, I think 2020, even if we cut it uh, a shorter year, I think I build up uh, a very good experience and uh, I'm, I'm more at home with the bike. And um, it's never a, an ending job, you know, even if you are relaxed, uh, you develop something extra and you need to get uh, used to that also. So it's a never ending process. You need to really be, be sharp at every weekend. Well, physically, uh, even if I felt good the last season, uh, for sure to have more races in a row gave me a different perspective on recovery. So during this winter, I, uh, I tried to sort out what kind of recovery tools I could have to play in my advantage if we need to have a very uh, shortened championship or very intense one. Um, and for sure to be able to arrive at the race, which is the last session of the weekend, where you have uh, more uh, more hours on your body to perform well, and uh, we know we get credit for the 40 minutes we ride 20 times a year. So um, that's that's really the perspective that I change mentally to to be able to to see the physical and the mental side as one. They will see much more, I think. Uh, I, I, I have uh, full conviction in, in, my, in my work. Um, I'm, I'm, I think, humble to accept uh, critics and I'm humble also to, um, uh, 
uh, to be able to work on myself when I see a weak point. And I'm able to work um, 200% committed on this project until uh, we reach uh, a level which we find uh, uh, worth of, uh, of, of our work.